Right folks, here is the almost finished chassis of Big Barry Mark II. Now as you know this is a hybrid all-wheel drive system. One motor for the front, one motor for the rear axle. We're just about fully braced up now. We've got some very fine tolerances going on around the front. Uh, you'll notice at full turn we're almost touching but not quite on the steering bar which is good we've got a very fine tolerance inside there for the stero steering uh, servo horn on the pumpkin itself almost touches but doesn't quite and then we've got some fine tolerances down here as well where this bar comes over and nearly touches the servo horn but bottoms out just at the top of the servo it doesn't actually touch the servo but he almost does so we've got some good tolerances going on at the front. I feel everything's solid enough now with the uh, carbon. We've gone for a stronger 5mm plate up front, whereas we've gone for an, actually an alloy adjustable plate at the back here. You'll notice we've got a couple of holes there threaded. So this is an alloy piece, and these are carbon fibre. These are carbon fibre. Um, so obviously there's some stuff still left to do on here, but... Um, as things go, we're pretty much done. Obviously got to wait for Richard to send me the body now and stuff, which hopefully shouldn't be too long, not that there's any rush. Um, I've got something that's kind of okay to run on here for now. It's not big enough, it's not wide enough, but uh, it's got some length to it, so at least I can run with something on there for the 28th. Uh, unless by some miracle Richard manages to get done by then But anyway, let's have a look just on the RX box here So this is a 3d printed bottom piece here did not print the bottom uh, So I just cut out some scrap plate for the top. That's a solid 12 scrap plate um, There is a hole cut out for the top, but it's all been uh, Puttied around there underneath so hopefully it shouldn't let much water in. It is a waterproof receiver anyway um, and yeah We've got two 5mm plates here holding the planetary boxes on. So everything's nice and solid. Like I said, we're just basically waiting. The geometry's good. We've got good uh, geometry all the way along. Um, so yeah, we're basically just waiting for the cage now. So we can crack on um, getting this properly running. So I will be giving it a test tomorrow. Um, even if the weather's quite bad. I'm going to get out and give it a test tomorrow. And then uh, just let you know what I think with a quick functionality test. Obviously, this isn't designed to be run without a body uh, because these rails are aluminium. I would have usually used steel because I use a plastic body, which isn't structural. Uh, however, I'm having an alloy cage body built up uh, by Richard at RG Designs. And basically, it will form part of the structure between the front and rear because it's so wide. Uh, with steel you get the rigidity on the dog's legs but with these um, you can brace I mean you can see there but there is still going to be some flex it's braced with steel bars across there's an L bar there there's a steel bar there it's carbon plates there's braces here as well that run along the side they're separate but uh, there's still a little bit of flex because obviously it's not designed to be run uh, without a cage the cage body but we'll give it a little functionality test tomorrow uh, thanks very much for tuning in and watching the um, video so far. Don't forget, forget to check out any others in the playlist if you want to go back and have a look. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and don't forget to tune in tomorrow to see the test. Probably about evening time the video will go up, so don't forget to uh, set your uh, notifications on for that one. Thanks very much, guys.